actually let me give you the background from someone who saw it all unfold abdurahim musa is a journalist based in tamale and uh, he was actually at that game um abdurahim you're welcome to eyewitness news on ctfm in accra thank you very much uh, it's a pleasure i mean to join your uh, platform we are grateful tell us about this game uh, of course you were there to cover it i'm sure you didn't expect what you saw but what led up to that level uh, of the fisticuffs that we've had or at least the attack the assault okay uh, i think uh, it was a game um in regional division one b dick um a match between tiyumba ladies and then uh soccer missionaries so the game traveled to somewhere about um, 38 minutes when the incident happened and this was how it went um at the point when the incident took place the assaulting team they were leading by a goal to nil and then there was a ball that the two a, a striker of uh, soccer missionaries and then the defender of Tiumba, they were chasing the ball so there, there was much pressure on the defender so the defender hit the ball straight to the goalkeeper so the goalkeeper grabbed the ball and per football rule when that happens an indirect free kick is awarded to the opposing team so when the referee whistled for that foul um they didn't take it kindly and then the person in question who assaulted the referee happens to be the owner of the club he's a coach as well as the uh, the owner of the club uh Idris Unapare. so it resulted to some um, some fight among the players themselves and then when tempest was was cool the referee came and then to for play to resume it was then that um, the owner uh, and the coach approached the, uh, the centre referee, uh, uh, Natsara, and then was raining insults on her. And then she quickly uh, cautioned him uh, for, for this. So she gave a yellow card, and then uh, Coach Kubli didn't take kindly to that. He quickly just went to the referee and grabbed the yellow card from the, the, card from the referee, and then hit her to the floor. So she got up again and then moved backwards and then showed a red card this time around. And Tempest just fled and he was everywhere hitting the girl. Uh, people who were around actually did everything possible to stop him. He's a face, he's someone with uh, so much physique. So anybody that comes to stop him, they will hit the person. So the person also have to go back and come again. So that was how it happened. And it lasted for some time, quite some time. Uh, it was there that uh, I was present to cover the game, but unfortunately I sent to a rescue team because I had to run straight to the referee. I was the one who grabbed the referee and took the referee off from him and then took the referee out of the scene. So that was just what happened. And it was basically about the, I mean, the, um, the indirect free kick that was awarded against his team. So uh, that was basically what happened. I see, which means that they did not have any history together. It was simply because of the game, as he saw it, which he didn't like the way it was going. Yes, um, for that um, coach, there have been so many instances where he has, uh, one way or the other, um, attempted, I mean, um, attacking referees in the past. So he has a lot of history to that. So, but I wouldn't say it's, for that but this one i believe it was only because of that particular game and uh, what transpired that led him to i mean go to the referee who is a female premier referee she actually a premier a premier referee and then i uh, attacked her that way what was the reaction from the officials who were officiating the game uh, other referees or other uh, officials of the fa who may have been at the scene Yes, uh, at that place, the only uh, appointed person who was there was the match commissioner. Um, and then, obviously, those of us who were also there as journalists and the uh, supporters who were also around. So the supporters, even some team uh, were doing some kiffy, there was some, a kiffy team that was also training. They had to abandon their training and then also rush in there. So it was something that, was, that would have just uh, led to something bad if um, uh, something wasn't done about it. So... I believe everybody was serious and angry. Uh, he even had his uh, his van, uh, he had his van that he used to carry his players to the field. 
uh, even some of the supporters were threatening to, I mean, set it ablaze. But, so, um, so the anger, the had, anger was against the coach, against not the, not coach. the referee. It was, yeah, it was against the coach. Everybody knew very well that what had happened uh, didn't merit what she did. So people were at him. I mean, trying their possible to, 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 I mean, to harm him there, but. Uh, others were of the opinion that they should uh, just uh, allow the law to work and then not to, them, uh, not to I mean, uh, get themselves involved in the law. His own players and his side of the of the pitch, what was the reaction from them? D did they agree with what he was doing? The players, I mean, the players, they even started the fight. Uh, it was one of her players, she was wearing DC number 10. She, I mean, attacked one of the opposing side players and then they were into a serious fight. So that even made the center referee to give that girl, that player, a red card, uh, and she was sent off. So the players at the point, uh, but when the beating was becoming too much, as, as young girls, they themselves became furious, and then they were even trying to stop the, the head coach, and then he, had to, he was kicking some of them off uh, the pitch. When you said the beating was became serious, it means that it was a serious beating. Yeah, it was. It, it was. I mean, um, I've, I've been a journalist for almost 20 years now, but I'm telling you, I've never seen, I mean, such an act in football before. I mean, that kind of beating in football before. And anybody, my colleague journalists were there, some of them were hit to the ground. In an attempt to stop him, he hit them and they had to fall to the ground. Were there so, no police officers on, 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 on the scene at the time the game was being played? No, no. You know, the regional league, um, we don't usually have uh, police personnel around. It is when you have, I mean, the Division 2, the men Division 2, when it gets to certain stages where you know, obviously, tempest can rise, that's where we often bring in the police. At this one, no, nobody expected, I mean, such an act to, I mean, happen in that particular league. Because it's a Division 1 B side league. The men, the Division 1A, they have finished. They are those who qualify to the Premier. That one is done already. So this one was just another preparation stage for the girls so they could also um, join the, uh, the Division 1 main one. So uh, no one expected that such, such, such a thing would have occurred. What do you think this would mean to footballing? in that part of the country and again at that level itself already i would uh, presume it wasn't it's not an attractive you know competition and now to see these beatings what do you make of it what, what would people generally make of of what happened would that reduce people's interest in the games you think i believe um it will depend on the outcome of the i mean the court uh, the, the the police issue I mean, when the matter gets to the court, it will depend on the outcome that we get. If, I mean, the, the, the sanctions sanctions are properly meted out to him, uh, it will also even end up sanitizing the game. Because these things, we often hear them, pockets of these incidents often happen. But when people push it, I mean, to that level, you will hear, I mean, sometimes people come in to plead or do those things. But this time around, when punishments are meted out to this uh, culture, I believe it will go a long way to sanitize our game. So I believe, obviously, there will be some people who may even, I mean, because of that, will tell their girls not to go for refereeing or whatever. But I believe at the end of it all, it will end up shaping our game so that uh, we all have something to show and point to when someone is, I mean, trying to... Um, engage in that act. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. That's Abdul Rahim Musa. He's uh, a journalist in Tamil, based with Supeli FM. Uh, Supeli FM in Tamil. He covered uh, that game, at which game the referee was beaten, and uh, he's just recounting for us what he witnessed.